Yeah, short of paying uh, the staff that they have a lot more money to make sure that they keep them, I think this is a time for organizations to start looking into cognitive computing or AI, and I mean AI from augmented intelligence perspective and not necessarily full-blown artificial intelligence yet. Um, you, you have your, your subject matter experts who are doing your analytical work from a security perspective and you know they're at a premium and you don't have a surplus of them so what do you what can you do to try and take their cognitive abilities and replicate that and short of you can't if you can't hire more and more of them either financially or finding the right uh, subject matter expertise you could start leaning on cognitive computing where you can take those analyst expertise to do um, basically replicate what they're doing from their own brain perspective and one good use case is uh, cognitive open source intelligence research so if you take experienced analysts and they have so many hours in their day to do uh, research on a particular problem um, but you know, A, they're limited based on time, they're limited based on, you know, own natural bias, where I like to go to certain websites or I like to go to certain sources of intelligence, that's where they'll continue to go back to, or creatures of habit. Um, and then there you even have work, uh, workforce environment factors where, you know, is there a lot of stress in the workforce a particular day or the environment or that week? Do they have personal things that they're bringing into the professional workforce that it may not be known? So starting to lean on more augmented intelligence to take the place of, or, repl or let me say, to help augment those uh, uh, cybersecurity SMEs is actually beneficial because now you can allow on a computer to find that research and bring it back into an organization's environment and figure out what else doesn't that analyst know or know to look for.